Hello everyone, welcome to another weekly edition of Wrestling News with a Dude. Today, I will be telling you about what happened last week and what's going to happen this week, next week, or in the future. So, I will give out my thoughts about it as well. Starting off with GTS Wrestling. We just witnessed that the main event of GTS Sucker Slam was Violence vs Jimmy Controversy for the Intercontinental Championship. And of course, Violence is your new GTS Intercontinental Champion. The match features a special stipulation and it's that Jimmy Controversy would have lost the title if he gets counted out or get disqualified. Also, the rivalry between Grimm and his brother, Duhab, is not even closer to be over just yet because we got more stories to come as these two have some unfinished business to do. The Hero of Heroes has found a way to win back his ultimate opportunity. That's right, Grimm defeated Soda Pop Smith and he has the fanny pack which you can cash it in on any champion. Like GTS champion, you can cash it in on any time, any place, and guess who's gonna get cashed in? You guessed it, the YouTube Wrestling Figures Heavyweight Champion, Doohop. And I wonder, how many people are going to unsubscribe Grimm's channel if he wins back the YouTube title? As of right now, there are over 1,192,000 subscribers and counting subscribing to Silly Super Pop channel on YouTube. And if you have seen a couple of recent episodes of GTS Wrestling, a debut of Clay Sawyer, who defeated the former YouTube Champion Hollywood Hooligan. Does it mean he'll get a title opportunity for the YouTube Championship? Nah, just because he defeated a former YouTube Champion doesn't mean that he gets a championship opportunity. I honestly would have thought that he kind of looks like Cletus, but coincidentally, the real Cletus is back, and we haven't seen him for like a month or two or something. Anyways, Onslaught is still your GTS champion after he defeated Tony Emerald, who was the second winner of Super Grand Memorial Backyard Brawl. And yeah, Anthony Emerald Jr. was the special guest referee and even did the right job when he rang the bell after his father tapped out to a single leg lock. On the first note, we would have thought that we would see Grimm cash it in on the GTS Champion, but nope, Cletus decided to ruin this moment. Thankfully, we did not even want to see Grimm 2 belts. Understand this, Tony Emerald will get his rematch for the GTS Championship only if he doesn't get injured for a week. Switching gears to WWE. So King of the Ring tournament is happening this year, it's gonna happen this week. So 16 superstars from Raw and SmackDown will be participating in the tournament. The bracket has been revealed as a single elimination tournament. From Raw, we have Cesaro vs Samoa Joe, Ricochet vs Drew McIntyre, Cedric Alexander vs Sami Zayn, and The Miz vs Baron Corbin. From SmackDown Live, we have Kevin Owens vs Elias, Ali vs Buddy Murphy, Chad Gable vs Shelton Benjamin, and Apollo Crews vs Andrade. The finals will be taking place at WWE Clash of Champions, which is happening next month. And do I need to predict who's gonna win this year's King of the Ring tournament? You know what? As much as I would love to see King Ricochet, unfortunately, I had a feeling that Drew McIntyre is gonna win. Why? Because out of every European wrestlers like William Regal, Sheamus, and Wade Barrett, Drew McIntyre needs to be added to this list. Here's the thing. This reminds me of WWE 12 villain story. For those of you who play this mission, all of these four men form a group known as the League of Nations, which foreshadows one of the worst stable in WWE history back in 2016 or 2015. Like the one when they were used to put Roman Reigns over. Although it would have been cool to see William Regal Sheamus, Wade Barrett, and Drew McIntyre, and or the great Cesaro, forming an allegiance in WWE one day. Sadly, William Regal is currently retired, Wade Barrett aka Stu Bennett is currently working as a commentator and sometimes wrestle outside of the WWE, Sheamus has yet to return to the ring since WrestleMania, and Drew McIntyre is going way up to the top as a single competitor and he will soon to become King McIntyre. Sorry Kevin Owens and Ricochet, 
Maybe next time. WWE NXT was originally going to be on Fox Sports 1, but instead, the NXT brand is now officially has a new home. Technically, WWE has yet to announce that NXT is coming to USA Network. It will premiere most likely on Wednesday, September 11 at 8 p.m. Eastern Time. The duration will be two hours, and here's a fact. AEW Wednesday Night Dynamite will be happening on October 2nd at 8 p.m. Eastern Time, and Vince McMahon loves to have a war competition with other wrestling promotions. I mean, why the hell would he want to have a competition with other wrestling promotions? It's Vince McMahon. There's no need for him to start a war with AEW, and there's no need to get involved with NXT. And guess what? Triple H has the brain to manage his own wrestling show in WWE. If the TV rating flops, then guess who's going to be involved with NXT? You guessed it. Here's the thing. I've said this so many times. He needs to focus on XFL, the football program, and the WWE's main roster show. You know what? Scratch that. He needs to focus on XFL only. And please, step down from being the CEO of WWE. Let Triple H do all the work and leave it to them. AEW has no plan to compete with other wrestling promotions until Nick Jackson's tweet, bring it on. I mean, seriously, how many times has AEW taken shots at WWE? Well, guess what? Wednesday Night War is happening. I still don't understand why WWE wants to have war with AEW. Speaking of AEW, All Out is coming in less than two weeks. So far, we got eight matches on the card, including the pre-show match, which is the 21-woman Casino Battle Royale, and the winner will receive a match for the inaugural AEW Women's World Championship, and it will happen on the day that AEW debuts on live television. We got Nyla Rose, Britt Baker, Yuko Sakazaki, Ali, Brandi Rose, Teal Piper, Ivelisse, Jazz, and other 13 participants will be part of the Casino Battle Royale. On the main card, we got Darby Allen versus Joey Janela versus Jimmy Havoc in a three-way match. Riho will go one-on-one -on -one with Hikaru Shida. We have best friends Trent Beretta and Chuck Taylor taking on The Dark Order, Evil Uno, and Stu Grayson. And the winner will receive a first round bye in the AEW World Tag Team Championship Tournament. Cody will go one on one with his former friend Sean Spears. Lucha Brothers, Pentagon Jr., and Ray Phoenix will challenge the Young Bucks, Matt and Nick Jackson, in a ladder match for the AAA World Tag Team Championship. John Moxley will go one on one with Kenny Omega. In the main event, Adam Page will face Chris Jericho for the inaugural. AEW World Championship. There's going to be more matches to be added to AEW All Out. I can't guarantee it, but go watch the episode of Being the Elite every Monday to find out what's in store for AEW All Out. Last thing I want to talk about is New Japan Pro Wrestling Super J Cup is happening this week on August 22nd. We're going to have a first round: Rusuke Taguchi versus Jonathan Gresham, Yo versus Dragon Lee. Karistico, aka Mystico, FKA Sinbacha, taking on Bushi, Rocky Romero vs. Soberano Jr., Robbie Eagles vs. El Fantasmo, Clark Connors vs. TJP, Taiji Ishimori vs. Sho, and a main event, Will Ospreay vs. Amazing Red. And then two days later, we're gonna have a quarterfinals, and then the final day will happen in LA, semifinals and a finals. That's all I got for this week's episode of Wrestling News with the Dude. So with that being said, thanks for watching. Don't forget to like this video, leave a comment, subscribe for more content, and join the notification squad by tapping that little bell so you don't want to miss the latest upload on this channel. As always, goodbye, peace, and good day.